What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dennis down here at BMW Motorcycles of Jacksonville here in the custom corner. Today, we're going to be going over some helmets. Uh, to my left here, I've got the Scorpion XO GT 930. To my right, I have the XO T 520. What do these have in common? They are both available with the Exocom communication system. Now, on the 520, it actually comes with the with the actual helmet. On the 930, it's something that you're going to that you're going to add to it. I'm going to show you how to install them, and we're actually going to go over some ins and outs of the helmets today on Custom Corner. Let's check it out. All right, guys, now we're going to start off with the ExoGT 930. This is what Scorpion coins their transformer modular helmet. And that being because modular, of course, you've got that flip-up chin bar that allows you to be able to get some air at a stoplight, chat with somebody face-to-face -face whenever, you're, whenever you're close enough or not riding. But where it becomes a transformer, you've got two quick clips right here, and then the whole thing slides right off, okay? The, the actual chin bar gets removed, and you have a peak that comes with the helmet that slides right into place just that easy and it comes off just as easy as the chin bar did okay now you do have a sun visor on this one so it drops down whether you've got the, ch the chin bar or the peak installed so it works out either way now the other neat thing about this one is it is already set up and ready to accept the exocom communication system okay these install very quickly and easily into these helmets okay they're a really good price tag on it powered by the guys at you clear so you know it's got a pretty decent setup on it okay and then you've also got the t520 now the t520 is going to be a solid full face helmet okay it does not have a flip up any modulars you do have your sun visor all right that's going to drop down okay that quick drop but one of the things where this one differs is with the 520 it actually comes with the with the actual exocom communication system it's in the price tag so for this full face here you're talking 374.95 and you get a comm system with it okay Whereas on the XO GT 930, okay, this helmet runs for $249.95, and you have to buy the Exocom system separately, okay, and that's another $189.95. Now, this is a Bluetooth and mesh capable comm system, okay, unlike a lot of the competitors like Cena or Cardo, you're only four channels on your mesh capabilities here, where those guys, you're pretty much unlimited, but you're also talking the difference between four or $500 and just under two for this one here. And again, it's easy to work with, especially with the helmets that they're specifically designed for and obviously it's always really going to work with because it does have a special blank here for you to be able to clip the module into it but enough talking about it let me show you how easy it is to do the install now we'll start off of course with what's in the box okay you do have your communication device okay the battery charging cord and your speakers now you're thinking something's missing, like a boom mic or even an attached mic. These two little pieces on the ends of the speakers here, these are actually directional mics that go inside of the helmet with this, and they actually aim and will catch all of your audio, whether you're open faced or, of course, in the chin with the chin bar down. You're always going to get a better response with the chin bar down. Open faced, you're probably going to be good to about 35, 45 miles an hour, but that'll give you everything you need. But this is everything you need to be able to pop it together. And again, like I said, everything is already set up on the helmet. Now I'm going to leave the chin bar off just for easier access so that way we can see what's going on a little bit better here uh, first step i'm going to reach over here and grab the your little cover that comes off just that easy and then second step you're going to take off all the foam okay what you're going to do is just reach inside of the helmet here and you'll be able to reach inside and this is standard on almost any helmet you'll be able to reach down and feel right where the snaps are as soon as you get close to the snap is when you're going to pull you don't want to just grab a hold of that liner and just rip it right out of there because then you're going to shred your liner it's going to tear so you're always going to want to make sure you get your fingers as close to the actual snap as possible before it comes out then you usually got like three on each side pull out your straps here and then you're going to have your gasket here around the lip and again get as close to it as you can and just pull it out nice and easy start over here on this side <clears throat> and that's how easily it comes out price tag there <laughs> and just like that you have everything set up for the helmet now we'll install some of the goodies and then the next step is going to be to install the controller okay we've removed the cover on the side and you can see the nice little rectangle down there something that i always try and tell people whenever you're putting your cords in use the bigger rectangle this is the connector for the speaker first it's a very tight fit when you're pushing it through and just that small cord from the secondary which is going to be to your power source could get in the way so remember do the big one first then do the smaller portion all right those come right through 
and then you're just going to take and put your system here. It's going to clip right into place. And just like that, she's solid and ready to go. <clears throat> now, the speakers. Now we're going to pop in our speaker microphone combo, okay? Now these go in with an adhesive attached to a Velcro on there, and that's what you see right here with these white rings. That's the backside of the adhesive ring that's going to go right inside of that helmet, and of course hold the speakers in place. Now I'm not doing a full install here we're just doing this for video purposes so i'm not going to take that adhesive off of there i've added a little bit of tape on the inside of the helmet to be able to make it stick while we do the do the installation here so if you look at the cords okay you're going to see one side is definitely longer than the other so of course though the shorter side is going to go closer to your cord so again you just take it make sure that that speaker is or your microphone is pointed forward so it's going to catch all of the all of this voice activity <clears throat> same thing over here and again just that simple they just go right here into the into the cutouts for where the speakers go both of them are installed so again that easily whether you're using the tape or the proper stuff your speaker plug is here okay and then this is going to be for your battery your battery holder is located right back here on the back of the helmet just reach in grab a hold of that battery holder here we're going to pull it right out Grab the battery itself. The battery is going to have two notches on the front, a single notch in the back to match up with your clip here. Single notch in the back, two notches in the front. That's going to click right into place. <clears throat> then you're going to take your power cord, plug that puppy in, and then just clip just that easily. And we've pretty much almost all but completed the install. Only thing really left to do at this point is to put the liner back in and to tuck all the wires. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to grab that liner. All right, make sure, of course, that your sides are right. It's never going to go right if the connecting hoop is at the front. Uh, and make sure all of your cords are just draped on the inside of the helmet here. We're just going to place it roughly in there. And again, you're just going to push that liner right back in. Make sure the middle's in the middle. Make sure the back is at the back. I mean, pretty common sense stuff in here. If I can do it, it can't be that difficult to be done. Bring it up here. One of the things that I will like to do is take and attach your first snap on both sides so it'll center the actual liner. Once that's centered, you can see everything's tucking in here underneath of that nice little rubber gasket. Now, all the cords that you have on the inside, okay? You're thinking to yourself, what am I gonna do with these things? How am I gonna get rid of them? They're gonna be busting up against my customer's head, or my head, I should say. But, the boys at Scorpion actually thought that through. <clears throat> I do a lot of these installs. And one of the things that's always a, con a constant issue is whenever you are trying to tuck and get rid of those cords. Hope you don't mind me talking while I work here. Now, the solution that the boys here at Scorpion came up with is on the inside of your pad, okay? Right back here on the back side of this pad, there is a little pocket right there. See my fingers disappearing up in it? And that bulky cord from your speakers is gonna slide right up into that pocket. course any other any other speaker cords you're just going to tuck and just like that you are good to go you've got everything set up everything's installed your controller is here now the only thing that you have left to do is to jump onto whatever app store you use with your phone uh, and you're going to go to the exocom app system it's a quick download uh, to be able to set it up to be able to turn your turn your piece on you're just going to do a quick hold in the middle all right that's going to bring it to life you see the flashing blue light right there whenever that comes up and you've got your app and everything downloaded then all you're going to do is hold both your up and your down button watch this for a second here there we go it starts going to the red and blue it's flashing the red and blue that means it's in pairing mode so if you've got your app open you've got your bluetooth on then it's just that simple we've just installed it and we've paired it to your phone Really easy, really quick, even simple. Simple enough for me to do it.
Okay, guys, so a quick full recap here. Uh, you're looking at the XO GT 930, okay? This puppy runs for $249.95, all right? You can get the XO Com system from Scorpion, okay? This is a U-Clear system. This runs a, another $189.95 to be able to get you all of the traveling needs that you would want to have four-channel mesh capabilities, uh, to be able to talk on the phone when you're going down the road, and, of course, to listen to music. Uh, on my right here, we have the XO T. 520 okay another scorpion full face okay this one comes with the actual intercom system itself it comes with the exocom it's got the air fit adjustment system to it it does have a sun visor drop down on it and this one goes for 374.95 now i personally do have an exo gt 930 all right <clears throat> this one is here this one's mine the reason why i bring it up is because you are not married to a specific comm system just because you're going with a scorpion helmet okay i've taken the cena system i put a 50c camera on this so i can do the mode of logging that you see on this channel okay and it works out just fine for me uh, a little bit a little bit windy as far as noise up about 85 90 miles an hour but other than that no real complaints at all fantastic helmet i love the convenience of it so guys any questions on this or anything else you see here on the custom corner or even the used bike spotlight give us a call phone number is going to be 904-375-2921 or you can always hit us up on the website which is bmwmcjacks.com till then we'll see you on the road